welcome back. I'm Becca, if you're new here. If you're not, you already knew that. So if you are new here, feel free to hit that subscribe button. So today, I'm gonna to be starting a new series. I thought we'd have some fun, and then that will ensure that I have at least one video every single week. Um, so I'll be doing this along with other types of videos, and we're gonna try and run this as long as we can. I'm going to be doing Fab Five Fridays. So I know you've probably heard of Top 10 Tuesdays or Top 10 Thursdays, but somebody's probably already done this video. I'm sure they have. But honestly, I don't have 10 products to show you guys every single week. So I thought we'd try out five, five Fridays where I just show you five products. I'm gonna try and keep it in a theme. So for today's video, I'm going to be doing a Fab Five Fridays drugstore slash affordable skincare. So I have five products here that I'm gonna show you guys that I absolutely love. I love a bargain, I love a good deal, and especially when it works because we all want that, we want to save a buck and we want something that's going to work really well. So, if you guys want to see my Fab Five Fridays, then please keep watching. I'm going to do this in order, so how I would use these products. So, one product that I didn't actually think to bring to show you guys today is actually the first thing that I use to wash off my makeup. It is just a white, gentle soap. Um, I forget the name of it, but I will link it below or just put it in the description so you guys know what it is. It's super gentle, you can even use it on babies. And I actually just use that, I just wet my face, lather it up, and just wash off my makeup. And then I go in with the first product that I have here. The first product is the St. Ives Radiant Skin Pink Lemon and Mandarin Orange Scrub. So I know that scrubs are not the greatest for your skin in general, but you always do need, you know, a gentle exfoliant. This one is a very, very fine scrub, so it doesn't have big chunks of anything harsh that's gonna make tears in your skin or irritate your skin. I find this very gentle. I do have very sensitive skin, so I really, really like this one. It smells delicious. It's like very refreshing, it's very citrusy, and it's very, very fine. So I just, once I wash off my makeup, I don't do it every single day, maybe every second day. I just take a little bit of this on my hands and then just get it wet and scrub it into my face. And I do that for about 30 seconds, just all over my face, just to get all the dead skin off. And I really do find that it does make your skin radiant. Like your skin glows again, it doesn't look dull. And I do find that this helps with my oiliness. So if I don't use this, I find that my skin is really, really oily. Um, but if I keep consistent with this, my skin is really glowing, but not in a greasy, oily, disgusting way. So this one is, I think, $4.27. Um, I, got it, I get it at Walmart. It's super cheap. It lasts forever. I think a tube like this size, which is 150 milliliters, lasts me a couple months. So it is very affordable, very effective, and I highly recommend it. The next thing that I have here is the CeraVe Foaming Facial Cleanser. This one is for normal to dry skin. I do switch it up, so in the winter time I use the hydrating one, in the summertime I use the normal to oily because I do have oily skin. Um, this one I love just because A, it's very effective. I find that it does keep my breakouts to a minimum. I still get my monthly like hormonal breakouts just on the bottom half of my face usually, but I do find that it keeps my skin hydrated, healthy looking, and it does clear, like when I have a lot of breakouts, it does definitely help and keeps it at bay. I like it because it's very, um, it foams up, like it lathers up, and it doesn't, it actually feels like it's doing something. I can't stand the cleansers that don't feel like they're cleaning your face. This one definitely does, and I love it. This one I also get at Walmart, I believe, I wanna say it's like $15.97, so like 16 bucks, but one of these will last me about three months. I use it at nighttime. In the morning, I just splash water on my face and tone and then moisturize, but I use this every single night, and it'll last me like three months. It lasts forever, so that's like, 530 a month, which is nothing. So this one, highly recommend, love it. And like I said, they do have the hydrating one, so if you're dry all year round, you can definitely pick that one up and it'll work wonders for you. 
or at least I hope it would. In my opinion, it's absolutely fantastic. The price is great and it works really, really well. So the next thing that I have here is the Biore Blemish Fighting Astringent. So I actually just started using this about a month ago, but I started using it when my skin was breaking out and I found that it helped like almost instantly. Within a couple days, the couple breakouts that I had had gone down a lot, the redness had gone away, and my skin just felt really, really clean. This is a very refreshing, it's not a toner, but I was using it in place of my toner because it does get away any excess makeup or anything that's on your skin that you did leave behind. Um, but it really helped me, so I would highly recommend this when you're breaking out or your skin's just acting weird. This really, really worked for me. I think this was six bucks and I've been using it all month and it's about half full still. So that's super reasonable in my opinion. When I'm not using this, I do have a different toner that I use, but like I said, my skin was not the greatest this month, so this is the one that I've been using and I highly, highly recommend it. I just came across it and I really, really like it. So that's great. I just put it on a cotton round. Um, I concentrate it more in the areas that I need it so it doesn't dry out my skin, but when you do put it on, you will get like a cool tingling sensation. So if you don't like that, you might not like this because it's pretty strong, but it's not painful whatsoever. It just feels really good and really refreshing and I love it. So that's three down, <laughs> one more to go. Two more to go, that's five. So we have two more products. Uh, this video is probably going to be pretty short, but short and sweet is good, right? Sometimes. The next product that I have here is the CeraVe. It's another CeraVe product. Can you tell that I really like it? Uh, so this one is the Moisturizing Lotion for Normal to Dry Skin. So this is that right there. So I actually just started using this one about... I want to say a month and a half ago. I ran out of my Neutrogena Hydro Boost, which I absolutely love and I will continue to use, but I just wanted to try out another CeraVe product and I heard that it worked really well and I have absolutely loved this one. Again, I think it's about $16. I get it at Walmart. I've been using it for a month and a half and it's like three quarters full and I use it twice a day. Really, really like this stuff. It doesn't make my skin oily. It sits really well under makeup and I wear makeup almost every single day so I really do love this one. It doesn't make my makeup break up or anything like that and I do find that it's a really good balance. It's super hydrating but again it doesn't look greasy or anything on your skin. So I actually messed up and didn't go in, my, in the perfect order. Um, I should have done this one before the moisturizer because that's how I use it. So this is the Ordinary Lactic Acid 10% plus HA, which I think is Hyaluronic Acid. I could be wrong, don't quote me, but there it is. So I, I love the Ordinary. I've used quite a few products from them and I want to continue to discover more of their products. But they're super affordable and the packaging is beautiful actually. It's in a glass bottle. It's super cute, very aesthetically pleasing. And so what this is, it's a high strength lactic acid superficial peeling formulation. And since my skin has not been the greatest this past month, I started using this like every night after my moisturizer. I kind of just go in with this and it kind of like blends in with my moisturizer, which it says you can do that to dilute it but I find that it has really helped with the texture of my skin. It has really helped with the, like the scarring, not so much scarring, but like the leftover marks from my acne that I had. Um, so it really tones that down and really makes your skin fresh looking. Uh, like it, it is a peel, so it's very, very gentle. Uh, it doesn't feel, it doesn't burn your skin or anything, but it has been really, really helping me. So I'll definitely keep this on deck for when my skin is freaking out and I just really need like a, a new fresh slate. So I think this guy was like $7. I buy all my The Ordinary products on well.ca. I am in Canada so I think you get free shipping over 30 or 35 bucks so you can always find great stuff on there and then you don't have to pay shipping which who wants to pay shipping right? Right. So. 
that's everything that I have for today. I hope you guys like this video. If you've tried any of these products or have any other suggestions for me for affordable or drugstore skincare, please leave them down below because I'm always open to trying new things. Thank you guys so much for being here. I really, really do appreciate it. If you guys could give this video a thumbs up and of course hit that subscribe button. Thank you guys again so much for being here. I really appreciate it and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.